back. Today we're going to talk about a couple of triangle congruence po postulates. Um, the first thing that we need to talk about is triangle rigidity. And to be rigid means to be unflexible, unchanging. And so the, the principle of triangle rigidity means if the side lengths of a triangle are known, meaning if we know that they are 3, 4, and 5, there's only one shape that it could be. The sides can only line up in one way according to the principle of triangle rigidity. From that we get this postulate that's called the side 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 postulate. So if I look down here at this postulate it says the side 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 congruence postulate. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle then they are congruent. Which means that rigidity principle says that if the three sides are the same then it's only one shape that's possible which means that all the sides and all the angles must be congruent. So instead of proving six things, we only need to prove three, that the sides are all congruent. If I take a look at the shape, I notice I have one side with four centimeters and another side with four centimeters, so I'm going to mark those with one tick mark. I've got a side with six and a side with six, so I'll mark those with two tick marks. And I've got one side with seven, so I'll mark that with three, and this side is seven as well. What this leads to is a conclusion that these two triangles are congruent, meaning their sides and their angles are congruent. We can say that because rigidity tells us so. So now it's just a matching game. So I'm going to use um, this way, 4, 6, 7, to go 4, 6, 7. And so if I write these triangles in order, it's going to go A, B, C. I need to match them up with their congruent sides on the other one. Well, it went f the four sides. So we have one, we have two choices. We could go either go FD or DF. Well, I want to go towards the sides with side with the six. So I gotta go this way. So it's F D E because it's four, then six, then seven. And it's four, then six, then seven. Okay? So these two triangles are congruent which means my conclusion is that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FDE. That means six things now, but I only had to prove three to make it possible. Let's look at example one. We're going to use side, side, side to prove the triangle congruence. We're going to use side, side, side to explain why PQR is congruent to PSR. So PQR and PSR we're going to look at. Well, if PQ is congruent to PS, and also QR is congruent to SR, that's side and side, and because these are given, they're in the diagram, and that's given. Also, the third side is this PR. Well, PR, we know, is part of both of them, and it's congruent to itself. We have a property that talks about things being congruent to themselves. We're going to call it the reflexive property. property of congruence. And because it's a reflexive property of congruence, we now have three sides that are the same. So what I can conclude is that triangle PQR is congruent to, so I went this way, one, two, and then the other side. So I'm going to go to triangle PSR by side, side, side. So all you have to do is prove the three sides using valid reasons, and you can say that the triangles are congruent, which then gives you the angles. I want you to do this last one. Notice you're going to use a similar property. Let's talk about what it means to have an included angle. An included angle is between two sides. So the included angle is formed by those two sides. So angle B is included between side AB and side BC. So those two segments form that angle. So included angles are formed by those segments. Out of that we get this other postulate. So the side angle side postulate says if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. This is what this looks like. 
okay? So it goes side, angle, side, right in order like that. And over here we have side, angle, side. So the conclusion is triangle, so I'm going to go A, B, C, is congruent to, now notice I went the side with one tick mark, the unmarked side. So I'm going to go side with a tick mark to the unmarked side, triangle E, F, D. Okay, you have to go in order because those sides have to match up. So let's look at this guy here. We're going to use SAS to explain why triangle ABC is congruent to DBC. Well, I'm going to lay out what I know. AB is congruent to DB. Notice the B's go together. They're in the second position on there. That's given. So that's my side. Now I want my angle. Well, I need to know where I'm going because I use this side. Now, the included angle, the angle that's given, is going to be angle ABC is congruent to angle DBC, and that's given in the diagram. And the other side that I need to prove is going to be the other side of this angle. So here's a side angle and I want to prove this side because the angle has to be included. Remember, has to be included. And so I'm going to say BC is congruent to BC. Well, just like in that last example, we're going to say this is the reflexive property of congruence. And so my conclusion is that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DBC. Notice side, angle, side, side, angle, and side. There are just three pieces to prove the whole triangle. Okay, I want you to do this for me. See if you can prove B after I do A. So be thinking about doing another problem like this after we prove this one. X is equal to 3 and I want to pr prove that the triangles are congruent. Notice what is given. 4, 3, and 2. So I'm thinking about using side, 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 right? I'm thinking about using side, side, side because they give me three sides already. Well, I've got to plug it in. So this side is really equal to 3 times 3 plus 5. This is 14. Oh, sorry, minus 5. I'm just two plus a negative. It's going to be 4. And this is going to be 3 minus 1 equals 2. And this one's going to be 3. So I've got... 2, 3, 4. Well, I've got 2, 3, 4. Can I prove that it's congruent? Yes. By side, 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 triangles are congruent. Okay? That's as easy as it is. So those sides are congruent, by, or those triangles are congruent by side, side, side. I've got another example down here for you. I want you to notice, we're, in this one we're dealing with an angle so you might be thinking about the one that involves the angle, maybe side, angle, side, because this angle is included. All right, so try that one, and we'll see you next time.